Okay, just taking a look very quickly at um, making some rations for the Eastern Front event. And we're focusing on German combat rations. And here we see about, well actually it'd probably be more than you need for the three day event. And let me break this down for you, okay? Okay, so I got the meals kind of broken down by day and we'll kind of go over them a little bit. Um, this first little part back here is kind of your emergency half ration with a can of meat and some hard biscuits. Um, it should be about eight ounces of bread and canned vegetables or fruit. And about 200 grams of meat or something. Okay. Uh, a little bit of English spread. This is cheese spread. This will go all the way through. And then uh, approximately uh, about five to ten ounces of hard crackers, which will carry over. This is your half ration, emergency iron ration. Um, so here's your supper for the night. And with a little bit of chicken from this, you know, you can break into it because that's what we're talking about doing. Now for the next day, your breakfast is about eight ounces of bread again. Now some of that's going to be left over from the night before. Um, about 200 grams of meat, or about that big a can, a little bit bigger than that. You could actually do two, because that's 142 grains. Um, so we could easily add another can to that, and that would be your breakfast along with some instant coffee, or, or some kind of meal, or drink. Uh, could some condensed milk, which would come issued. Uh, which it holds you over and, and really about two or three soldiers would use you know work together lunch You know you got the leftover bread that you didn't eat you've got um, Meats about 200 grains or so or grams or so. This is about twice that um, a little bit of filler um, Your sausage or your cheese spread would carry over and uh, And then another can of vegetables and so you're looking pretty good there. Supper is actually going to be issued from the company mess. It'll be stew and bread. And uh, so we throw in some sardines too because you'd get some of your ration the next morning. So <clears throat> the next morning on Saturday, uh, what we're going to see is another eight ounces of bread issued along with meat, instant coffee, and some sausage, uh, instant coffee, uh, your butter, your spread will be carrying over into the next day, uh, condensed milk, uh, either from the, your ration or the, your partner's ration from the day before, and four ounces of chocolate. So really, that's about it. Now what we need to do is go through here, start changing out all the cans with period labels. Now, just as a note, most of the German rations issued by the army didn't have <laughs> they didn't have labels. Not, not on their military cans. Most of them had a code number which was stamped onto the can which told you exactly what it was and where it came from and how much it was. So, but because we like to do rent labels, I've done a couple fake labels up. So, with the other, with the addition of another loaf of bread, and that's a lot of bread, but that's basically your filler. So you're basically within about twenty-five to thirty dollars for the weekend for an entire meal, and you should be good. Um, and that's about it. Okay.